Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. This is attempt number three at filming this video. If you are a content creator, you know my pain. Sometimes things just don't come together. So maybe third time is the charm. So if you are a new viewer, please click subscribe and the little bell notification icon. If you are a return viewer or subscriber, make sure you've hit that little bell notification icon as well. If you need IT consulting, please go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form and someone will be with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. Uh, what we are going to talk about today is redesigning a network that is already in use but needs um, a little help. So what I've got is I've got a customer and they have a garden style MDU setup. So MDUs, multi-dwelling units. And what we've got is we've got 14 buildings with 12 units per building. And then we've got a clubhouse where the leasing office is. And the buildings are kind of laid out. I'm going to draw this for you here. Laid out like a horseshoe. And there's a building on this side and then one here and then a building on this side and one on this side, so on and so forth. And they are building more offices. So what we've got is we've got the internet coming into the uh, facility. Now this is the current, the current setup. And their power can only, or their internet, the only high speed that they can get at this location is uh, from the power company. So here we've got our angry cloud who is delivering to a Cisco RV. What is the model on this? It's funny because Cisco just sent me this to do a review on and a customer happened to have it already. So it's a, a Cisco RV 345P. Don't get excited. We're going to be pulling out of the client, but I will tell you why here in just a minute. So we've got uh, two WANs coming in here, and they are each 250 meg uh, down and about 125 up. Now, if you were doing the math, we've got 14 buildings with 12 units. So that's uh, 8 and 2 and 4 and 1. So that's 168 units. But then we also have like nine condos slash townhomes. So that gives us 177 there. And then we have the leasing office. So we are going to potentially have 178 uh, units hooked to this. Well, right now, this entire thing is one big flat network. And while the radios that they're using, and they're using the LTU uh, radios between the buildings. So what happens, let's, uh, let's clear this. But we need to remember that we're going to have at least 178. Um, so we'll start up here and we'll put 178 up here so we don't forget this. So on the top of the leasing office, and there's also another, uh, there's actually three different access points. Where So they're doing um, point to multi-point. And so this is our leasing office. And then you have, you know, like building one. And we have the, so this is the AP. And this is the client. And they're saying, you know, they're getting like 400 megabits uh, between. I haven't been into the equipment yet. We just started this process, and I've been really thinking the last couple of days about how we're going to attack this. So right now what they've got is they've just got like one huge uh, network. And, um, you know, it's you can't really... You don't really want to do that. They, there's some issues, but they, they, you know, had some issues with VLAN and stuff like that, that we are going to completely straighten out. So right now we've got one big, huge network 
and no way to really control the broadcast and really uh, rein in the traffic. So that's part of it, that the broadcast traffic on this is probably just going crazy. So what happens um, here in the on the building side is this building has 12 units and the wiring in the building is split in half. So you've got your building and on this MDF you've got six and on this MDF you've got six and then there's Ethernet between it and these are Cisco SG300 switches, the 10 ports, which should be able to handle all everything, but it's really the, the head end over here that's causing some issues and there's some VLAN issues here that uh, I'm gonna get to the bottom of and figure out. So right now we've got this huge flat network and we are gonna have at least 178 networks. We're actually gonna have 179 VLANs at least because we're gonna have all of the units plus the leasing office and then we're gonna create a management network. And what's gonna be in the management VLAN? Let's uh, go ahead and get this uh, cleared up again here real quick. All right. So we are going to have 179 VLANs at a minimum. The Cisco uh, RV router, while it does dual WAN beautifully, and they had an edge router in there, had some problems with the dual WAN, which I'm going to fix. Uh, the Cisco RV can only do 32 VLANs. So you'll see that in my video when I get to it. But this is going to be the Achilles heel for the Cisco uh, when we start using it for projects like this. So it's just not, it's just not going to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to have one VLAN that's going to be management. So what's going to be in management? It's going to be our switches, our router, our APs. And when I say APs, I mean the APs that are connecting buildings to buildings because with this project we are not providing uh, wireless at all. So that will be one VLAN, and there will be firewall rules that don't allow anybody... Um, except us to get into this. So this is going to be firewalled off into its own little world. Now, we are going to bring either an Edge Router 4 or an Edge Router 6 back in. And what I'm going to do <clears throat> with this is he's going to get... He, so this project is completely being done... I, I, I made it very clear that we can get the network working from an infrastructure standpoint. We can get it working like, uh, you know, a well-oiled machine, smooth as butter, whatever you want to call it. But the internet, if you think about 500 megabits, uh, let's draw this over here, up here. So we've got 500 megabits total, and it's not even an aggregate. It's 500 meg, and we're going to have 100 and... 78 units uh, pulling from this, and each of these units could have multiple devices. So per unit, per VLAN, so we're going to equate unit with VLAN, uh, you're looking at like, it's something like 2.8 megabits per second. Now, this is also a DirecTV site, and DirecTV needs 5 megabits uh, from what I've been told. So I'm still waiting on some clarifying information, but I told the customer that even, um, you know, even if not every unit is taken, I mean, multiple devices in the units are going to be on the Internet. So they definitely, for the potentiality of all of the traffic, this 500 megs is not going to cut it. Now, what in this project, where we stop is we design the network, we get it working, the client that has hired us, they will manage the network. However, the day-to-day -day operations of actually selling the internet to the end users, which by the way, the property manager has exclusive rights. He's kicked Comcast out, all that stuff. Um, so he has uh, exclusive rights, so you can't bring internet in. So if you're getting internet, you got to get it from the property manager. Well, guess what? Not our circus, not our monkeys. Now I can, if they ask me questions, I'm more than happy to answer it, but we are really not concerned with that. We are concerned with making sure that this network performs optimally. 
So, but I did warn them that, and that's the reason that I'm talking about this is because yes, I will design your network. Yes, it will work the way that I'm talking about, but I cannot guarantee the internet speed because I do not believe that you have enough bandwidth total. I mean, you get a day where everybody's off, everybody's home, this 500 megs is shot. It's gone. Poof. I mean, you're talking a hundred and, you know, 177 units with multiple devices, right? So what we're going to do is let's just say to start, I'm going to just say that we've got, you know, 180 VLANs. What we're going to do is as they add these WAN connections, I'm going to set up a uh, policy based routing to send, you know, so he's going to, I think going to get a third one in, right? So, um, we'll have, you know, these three shoots and what I'm going to do on the PBR is I'm going to send, you know, 60 units out of each of these or whatever the number happens to be, but we are going to manually set that up and then we'll set it up that if one connection goes down, people can fail over. So they have basic connectivity, but, um, you know, then I have a feeling at some point the property owner is going to have to really talk about packages and quality of service and all this other stuff. So what, uh, how it's going to work when we get done, get rid of this real quick is we will have our 179 VLANs and we'll have our management VLAN. Then there'll be 177 units and we'll probably do a slash 29 um, or smaller. And then we'll have one VLAN for the leasing office. So the edge router is going to have no problems handling this. This is what we're going to do is, you know, getting all of just our infrastructure devices in one network. And we, we may even take it even further and put, you know, radios in one and switches in another. We'll just have to see. I don't know that there's going to be a need to break it down that far. Um, but if we start running into other issues, we might do that. But this is really what we're going to have to make sure that we concentrate on. There, you know, there's going to be all kinds of firewall rules uh, set up on these, of course, so that they can't see each other. And I believe that the way that it works is maybe the units are just turned on full time. I don't know. Like I said, not my circus, not my monkeys. They just want a network that's going to kick ass. And that's what we're going to give them. There's all kinds of little nuts and bolts things that will have to happen and tuning of radios and stuff like that. The good news is, is that I do know... Uh, that from the APs to the clients, um, you know, we do have a uh, clear line of sight and a uh, clear fr uh, Fresnel zone. So at least we've got this part taken care of and I don't have to mess with that. So uh, I will be working on this as soon as I get more info. If this goes well, there's more projects there. Um, but I just wanted to show you how we're going to go from this flat network to, uh, you know, a, an actual... Uh, routed type network with, you know, smaller VLANs to make things much more efficient and much more secure. So anytime we're building a network, we want to make sure, you know, security is one of our number one, um, number one priorities. And in a flat network, unless you've got a firewall running on a device, there is no security. So when we start working with different VLANs, then we can start implementing different ACLs and stuff like that on the networks. And, you know, this is our number one uh, priority, safety and security. And then uh, we start the building everything else on there. So we've got to have these VLANs to accomplish this. And this is really the way we're heading and if you've got any networks that need help or you want us to just take a look at it and see if there's something we could be, you know, that could be done to improve your network, you can reach out to us down at uh, willyhow.com. You can go check that out. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Like I said, if you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form. Someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you someone who can. If you want to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, the link is down below. And as always, our Amazon links and all of our affiliate links are down below and marked as such. They don't change your price. They do kick a couple bucks to the channel to keep some gear rolling in. Always appreciate it, but don't feel pressured to use those. Once again, I'm Willie. Thanks for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.